M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Yaesu FTM100D, C4FM, VHF, UHF, GPS and APRS transceiver. So let's add our repeater and then store it to memory. So first thing we're going to do is uh, get into the right band. So you've got VHF, UHF. Okay, so let's do VHF, but it's the same process. Now we're going to do GB3WR, so I know that's 145600, and it's an FM channel, so the DX button is, changes the mode, so you want FM, there you go, 145600 FM. Then we want to hold down the DISP, because we're going to set the shift, so hold down, and we'll go back to the beginning, and we're going to go to, I think, config, and then we hit DISP. Then we're going to go oh, down to number five. So down from one to five, hit DISP, and we want a minus shift. So look, one is simplex, two, three. So we want minus, then we hit DISP. So we've got our shift in there. We back out. Then we want the repeater shift frequency. So hit DISP, and then look, we can change it. I mean, it has got automatic turned on. But look, 600. Then we back out. Now I will show you that if you go to number four, you can turn on the auto repeater. Press DISP, like so. And look, on or off, on or off, and just back out. We'll leave it on, back. But let's go down to repeater shift frequency again. Hit DIS. Like so, we've got that. Yeah, let's back out. Now we're gonna to go to signaling, which is number four. So turn this knob here to number four. DIS, and then you want the, the type of tone you're gonna use. Now these days, everyone tends to use tone squelch, which means if they're not hearing, you know, if they're not transmitting the tone that you've set, you'll hear nothing. If you want, if you wanna hear more beeps and noises from the repeater, set it to, if we select it, well let's select the frequency first, 94.8 for that repeater, go back, so I got that backwards, it should be the squelch type, is when you select the type you want, so you could just put tone in code, then you'll hear the repeater better, better. back, and then go back, tone, squelch, frequency, right, get it right, okay, well I've had this radio 10 minutes, anyway, <laughs> back, so right now we should have everything in there, let's uh, key the mic, we've just got a rubber duck at the back, I don't think we'll open the repeater, what's our power, power's here on the front, low, medium, high, just so you know, low, medium, high, let's do high because we're indoors and we're trying to open a repeater, and then we're gonna, why are we not TX? Let's find out why. Looks like our shift hasn't gone in. We've got the minus shift, tone. Maybe the lead came out for the microphone because we have been yanking it a bit. There you go. M0 FXB, M0 FXB. There you go, it did actually open it. The reason it, it dimmed a bit is because the power supply I've got is a bit weak. So yeah, I've got it on 20, 25 watts now. M0 FXB audio test, M0 FXB. Yeah, it's working great. The next thing is to save it into our memory. So what we're gonna do is see the VM button here. We're gonna hold it down. There you go, we've got an audio report there. I'll just reply back to that station. There you go, and you can see when it's receiving analog, it's green, and you key the microphone. Oh, thanks very much, Steve. Nice to meet you. 7-3, all the best. It goes red. Okay, let's do this memory channel. So we hold down VM. And we're going to get some blank channels. So we'll just put it where it's found it. 145600, and we're going to hit tag. So where the buttons lie, 
is is you know is where you're going to put it. So hit tag, and then you it's GB three WR. So we we'll go G. Hit the right arrow, B. B and then across. A bit long winded. For numbers, you hit this button here underneath the A. I think you have to hit it a couple of times before you see the numbers appear. There they are. GB3, one across. Back to letters, W, W, then across. And I'm going to PQR. R, and then we're done. So what you do, go one more across. Then you hit the DISP just once. And then to save it, hold it again. That should put it in with a bit of luck. There you go. <laughs> right, so there you are. That's one memory channel so far. That's looking good, isn't it? And it's very nice on the screen as well. So I hope this helps you add your repeater and store to a memory on your Yesu FTM 100D. And I've had this radio about an hour. Bye for now. Cheers.